Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing well today. This time we are going to look at Infernax. This is a this is a really fun game. I was not expecting uh, what I got from it, and I was really enjoying myself while I was playing through this for a little bit. The game kind of reminds me a little bit of Castlevania II Simon's Quest and the way that it's all laid out and everything and the overall theme and whatnot. And it also reminds me a bit of um, Zelda 2 The Adventures of Link. Because as you kill the enemies, you're gaining experience points. You see the little numbers pop up on the screen, that sort of thing. Uh, you gain magic as you go through it. So it kind of feels like that. But it feels like somebody took those two games, made them a whole lot better. Made the graphics obviously a lot better. Cause we're not dealing with the NES anymore. And kind of combine this with a little bit of a roguelike game. I will say the... Just like your health meter, that's the only thing that kind of bothers me with this. Because there are enemies that can just, you know, two shots and you're dead. Like our, our wonderful first boss here. He kicked my ass so many times when I first started. Because I really didn't know how to play this. And it feels like I shouldn't be able to just walk through his giant like meat cleaver like that, but I can. I don't know. I was a little bit confused when I started playing this thing. That being said, it's a lot of fun. It controls very well, and you know, just it feels really great to play. It is a little gross, which I'm okay with. I think that's kind of fun. I just find it a little bit hilarious that this guy vomits like purple slime or whatever it is on you and you're perfectly fine with it i i really don't get i don't really get that but for some weird reason it made me laugh this does kind of feel a little bit like a little bit more like simon's quest but with a much better a much better way of like getting around I'd never felt like I was super lost in this game. There are some weird parts in it where you don't really know what the buildings are because obviously they don't have signs on them and you get told after you've defeated the monster, you get told you have to go to the citadel or like a keep or something. I forgot which what, what they actually called it. It has no sign on it. Or at least if it did, I didn't realize it. It's right next to a save point, thankfully. So it, it, I'm sure it probably explained it and I just missed it. But it was kind of weird when you, know, you I got told to go to this place. And I was like, I don't really know where that is. But kind of, maybe. It, it's sort of weird. So what's the story of this game? You play as a duke, and you have returned from the Holy Land to find that your little dukedom, I guess, I guess we can call it kingdom, it's fine, your little parcel of land has been kind of screwed over. Uh, something weird has happened, apparently nobody bothered to, you know, actually, <laughs> actually stop the demons or whatever was happening, and... Basically, a bunch of monsters are running all over the place. It is explained that they don't know what happened, which I think is kind of interesting. Nobody really knows what happened. It took place a year ago. All of a sudden, they got locked out of their keep, and there are monsters everywhere. It's an interesting game. I, I really like this, and I've been having a lot of fun with it. The story's kind of strange, but... You know, <laughs> But whatever, it's not something that I wouldn't be able to believe in a video game. So, yeah, it's a lot of fun. I do want to mention, it is a Metroidvania, so you're kind of going all over the place. You're backtracking, you're grinding for experience points, which you can use at the save points to upgrade your weapon, upgrade your health, and upgrade your magic. So that gets kind of weird and repetitive, at least in this game, they give you the money that you need. It's not like an endless grind. You can get the experience that you need to level up. At least I did early on. It gets a little bit harder once it gets into like 3,000 and whatnot. But you can get it done. 
anyway guys that's gonna wrap it up uh, let me know what you think in the comments below and if you feel like it you know drop a like and subscribe to the channel have a great day everybody bye